Have you ever wondered what would happen if an arresting wire cable broke on a U.S. aircraft carrier? How would the crew respond to this potential disaster? In this video, we'll explore the consequences of a broken cable and the steps that the crew must take to ensure the safety of the ship and its personnel. From the intricacies of the arresting wire system to the high-stakes world of carrier operations, we'll delve into the fascinating and often perilous world of the U.S. Navy's most impressive vessels. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride. The United States Navy's aircraft carriers are often hailed as the most powerful warships in the world. These floating cities of steel are capable of projecting forts on a global scale, with a vast array of aircraft and weapon systems at their disposal. But as with many complex machines, there are potential points of failure. One such point of failure on an aircraft carrier is the arresting wire cable, which is used to help aircraft land safely on the carrier's flight deck. To understand the importance of the arresting wire system, we first need to understand how aircraft land on an aircraft carrier. Unlike traditional runways, which are miles long, aircraft carriers have a relatively short flight deck that is only a few hundred feet in length. This means that aircraft must land on the carrier at a high rate of speed and come to a complete stop in a very short distance. This is where the arresting wire system comes into play. The arresting wire system is a vital component of the flight deck on U.S. aircraft carriers. It allows fighter jets and other aircraft to land safely and securely, even when they are traveling at high speeds. However, despite the advanced engineering and rigorous maintenance that goes into these systems, there is always the risk of something going wrong. The arresting wire system consists of a series of cables that are stretched across the flight deck of the carrier. As an aircraft approaches the carrier for landing, it catches one of these cables with a hook on the underside of the aircraft. The cable then rapidly pulls the aircraft to a stop using a combination of friction and tension. Without the arresting wire system, aircraft would be unable to safely land on an aircraft carrier. Now, let's imagine that one of these cables breaks during a landing operation. This is a rare occurrence, but it can happen due to a variety of factors such as wear and tear, metal fatigue, or even bird strikes. The immediate consequences of a broken cable is that the aircraft attempting to land will no longer have anything to catch onto and will instead continue down the flight deck at a high speed. This is obviously a dangerous situation, as the aircraft could collide with other aircraft, equipment, or personnel on the flight deck. Picture the scene. A high-speed jet is hurtling towards the deck of a U.S. aircraft carrier, its tail hook extended in anticipation of the moment it will catch the arresting wire cable. This cable is an engineering marvel in its own right, is designed to withstand enormous stress and strain, slowing down the aircraft and bringing it to a safe and secure halt. But what if, in that crucial moment, something goes wrong? What if the arresting wire cable snaps? sending the tail hook careening off into the void and the aircraft hurtling towards disaster. The consequences of a broken arresting wire cable on a U.S. aircraft carrier are potentially catastrophic. Without the cable to slow them down, aircraft may not be able to come to a stop in time, hurtling across the deck and potentially colliding with other planes, equipment, or personnel. The flight deck of an aircraft carrier is a constantly buzzing hive of activity, with aircraft taking off and landing at breakneck speeds, and any disruption to this delicate balance can have far-reaching and devastating consequences. The arresting wire system is an essential part of the aircraft carrier's operation and its failure can have a ripple effect throughout the entire ship. The crew must act quickly and decisively to mitigate the risk and prevent a full-blown disaster. The use of the barricade and net systems, while effective in preventing collisions and injuries, can also cause damage to the aircraft and equipment involved. The crew must balance the needs for safety with the need for efficiency, ensuring that the ship can continue to carry out its mission while also keeping everyone on board safe. All of this underscores the enormous risk and challenges involved in operating an aircraft carrier. These massive vessels are technological marvels, able to project power across the globe and carry out a wide range of military operations. But they are also incredibly complex and dangerous, requiring a level of skill and expertise that few can match. Whether they are launching fighter jets into the skies or bringing them safely back to Earth, the crew of a U.S. aircraft carrier must always be on their toes ready to respond to any challenge that comes their way. 
To prevent this from happening, the aircraft carrier crew has a number of emergency procedures in place. The first line of defense is the barricade system. This is a series of hydraulic arms that can be quickly raised to stop an aircraft that is unable to catch an arresting wire. The barricade system is similar to the cable system in that it uses tension and friction to bring the aircraft to a stop, but it does not require the aircraft to have a hook on its underside. If the barricade system fails or is not an option due to the location of the aircraft on the flight deck, the crew will move on to the next emergency procedure, the net system. This involves deploying a large safety net across the deck, which is designed to catch an aircraft that is unable to stop on its own. The net system is a last resort, as it is not as reliable as the cable or barricade systems. Replacing an arresting wire cable is no easy feat. The broken cable will have to be removed from the flight deck and a new one installed. This may sound simple, but it's far from it. The cables are under immense tension and can weigh over a ton, making them difficult to handle. The crew will need specialized equipment, such as hydraulic lifts and pulleys, to safely remove and install the cable. Even then, the process can take several hours to complete. This means that the aircraft carrier will be out of commission during this time, unable to launch or recover aircraft until the cable is replaced. For the crew, this means working around the clock to get the carrier back up and running as quickly as possible, while ensuring that safety remains the top priority. It's a daunting task, but one that the highly trained and skilled crew of a U.S. aircraft carrier is prepared to handle. So, yeah, a broken arresting wire cable on U.S. aircraft carrier is a serious situation that requires immediate action from the crew. Fortunately, the Navy has a number of emergency procedures in place to deal with this scenario, including the barricade and net system. However, these systems are not foolproof and a broken cable can still result in a dangerous situation on the flight deck. Ultimately, the crew's ability to respond quickly and effectively to a broken cable will be key in preventing any potential accidents or injuries and ensuring that the aircraft carrier can quickly return to operational status. It's worth noting that the Navy takes the maintenance and upkeep of its aircraft carriers very seriously and regularly inspects and replaces the arresting wire cables as needed. This helps to minimize the risk of a cable breaking during a landing operation. But as with any machine, there is always the possibility of an unexpected failure. In addition to the risk of a broken cable, there are other potential hazards associated with landing aircraft on an aircraft carrier. The flight deck is a busy and crowded space, with aircraft taking off and landing, personnel moving around, and equipment being loaded and unloaded. This means that there is a constant risk of collisions or other accidents, which is why the crew must be highly trained and vigilant at all times. Despite these risks, the U.S. Navy's aircraft carriers remain a critical component of its military power. These massive ships are capable of projecting force across the globe and provide a mobile platform for a wide range of military operations. The arresting wire system is just one of the many complex and sophisticated systems that make these ships so powerful, and the crew's ability to respond to unexpected situation is a testament to their skill and dedication. So that's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.